Hi folks, I don't know what we're going to do. I, uh, I saw a photograph, my wife showed it to you on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. It's a, a view, someone's posted a view of, of Denbys or from Denbys. Denbys is a, is a wine growing area in Surrey where I've had two exhibitions, joint exhibitions with friends. A lovely venue and uh, <coughs> More people will have hear, will hear of it because um, Tim Martin is buying thirty thousand bottles of sparkling wine for Weatherspoon. Uh, that's a pub chain that he started. Interesting, really. Tim Weather, he's an accountant, and um, he was fed up with going into English pubs where all he could get was sandwiches, expensive beer. Uh, not a, not a lot, and often they closed for food about two o'clock. So he started, uh, bought a pub, borrowed some money, no doubt, and started a pub called Weatherspoon. It's now about a thousand pubs um, nationwide, giving great value for money, open from well, most of the day and still serving food up to about 11 o'clock. In the evening, yeah, marvellous. We, we we meet there once a year now, in once a, a week in our local Weatherspoon, sort of old, us old men. Um, and the, the the food is is good. The beers are superb. The prices are sensational. And I'm glad to hear he's buying local. But this pay this photograph I saw was just it was just a beautiful. Well, I'm, I'm sure it was done with uh, with um, filters because the, the, the clouds going across the sky is a, a panorama. The clouds were sort of brown, and I, you don't really, well, you can, I'm not saying you, you can't, um, but uh, it was a beautiful picture. So I'll, it, it's in the Surrey Hills. Now, I've, I think I've over just over this. It's a bit thick there, it's not quite dry, a bit damp. So I'll just start putting a sky of, of sorts in and we'll see where we go with it. So I'm just, just working from a memory that I saw about half an hour ago. Um, but I've mixed, um, I've gessoed this with um, some proper gesso, white titanium white gesso, which is Galleria, it's Windsor and Newton. Galleria? Uh, yes, Galleria, uh, there we are. Got that from the, the range. White gesso primer, super, super stuff, thick, oh, luscious. And I mixed in a load of um, plaster, crack filler plaster with it. It's not as, as movable as the chalk, chalk, the chalk is better, I found. But that's, that's not thick gesso there, well it is, but it's not that thick. It's a bump in the paper. Uh, right, okay, now it's a bit of watercolour paper. I've added a bit of burnt umber to the uh, mix and I've also added some PVA glue to some vet gel. So the PVA glue, well, it, 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 hopefully it'll give it a bit of a varnish as, as you paint because I, I varnish all my acrylics that are any good with uh, a PVA glue. Right, okay, let's, I've got a new, new pot of, uh, of uh, titanium white Galleria acrylic. Uh, I'll just add, add as we go. So let's get let's, let's just get a bit of bit of grey to start with, and a bit of bit of gel and stuff. Let's just ooh, dear, that's going to be a bit, bit bouncy. I uh, can't really help that. Just get some paint on the paint on the on the paper. And as we go, we'll, we'll find a way through through the landscape. So I'll just build up a, a surface of, of, of shiny paint, hopefully shiny paint. Bit of gel, bit of PVA glue. Got to be careful because this will probably stick to the board underneath. Always exciting starting a picture and not knowing what you're going to paint. It will be a landscape of course, I don't only do landscapes, but I'm trying to abstract the landscape 
I'm very, very much influenced by Jackie Gardner. I have a look at her, her work on Facebook if you haven't already. She just produces some wonderful, freely painted landscapes that are absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Not all of them, I have to say, because we can't write all the same things, but but I love what she does and I, if I've got a few minutes uh, lying in bed with my ta old tablet, or my new tablet, I uh, can uh, enjoy watching, looking through her several hundred gallery photos on Facebook. Let's just, let's plug that hole there. Go mad. Just a bit of yellow ochre, cadmium red. I want a low horizon. I am a sky painter, I have to say, but I like trees as well. And I just want an abstract. I don't want anything graphic or realism. I don't want any realism in this. I want what I feel about what I saw. Horizon somewhere down around about there. Go for it, Dave. Just go, go, go mad. Strengthen that up a bit, I think. Right. Uh, I'm going to use my... I'm not going to use my flat... Well, I'm, I, mm, I don't know what I'll use. I've got these lovely, lovely... Uh, all these lovely brushes, I mean, could be used, haven't they? Uh, now, um, I'm going to put some bright trees in because that's what I saw in the photograph. But I'm not copying the photograph, I don't think I am. But I, I well, let's, let's just go black, red, lump of yellow. So just on the distance, a bit of distance here. Yeah? We'll change some of the shapes of this. Look, I, I've mixed the paints, look, but they're, they're all separate. All those colours, the red, the blue, the yellow,
Okay, put my brush in there. Now I want to put in some plenty of burnt sienna, yellow ochre, red in this foreground, yellow in this foreground. So I'm going to put out some more colour because um, I've got so much, loads of cab red. I'll never use it in my life, the rest of my life. Uh, oh, that's crimson. Oh, I'm going to use crimson. Oh, who cares? Um, put some more, we've got some umber, plenty of ochre. Well, let's, let's just go for it. Let's just go nice, I've got a bit of viridian, which is sort of drying off now. A bit of medium, let's get that. Oh, that's a bit thin. Use too much gel, I think. Add some different colour in there, some burnt sienna. Softness. Put a bit, bit of light on here. Is not getting in the way. So you can do this quite easily with acrylic. All right, we'll just get a bit of light in this on these downs here. Bit of umber. Now I hope I'm not insulting everybody's anybody's intelligence with this sort of painting, but, it's, but we're painting. We're you can have a memory of something, which I have of this. Oh, that's a. Soften some of that. Oops, I've repeated myself then. Hmm. I'm going to have to scrape that viridian off because it's it's gone a bit uh, dry. So let's uh, get a bit of tissue. You don't have to spend ages on a on a painting. You, well, you can. You you can. It's your paint. You can do what you like with it. But I'm just showing a way of of that I'm painting now that I might change tomorrow because. We're, we're trying to create an expression of or feeling of what we like. Now the the, the um, trees I have in the picture are all all brilliantly lit with like sun coming from behind the clouds. And so that's what I've tried to replicate here. But I've got three or four, four of these uh, lovely varnish brushes, these inch brushes. brushes. They, they are very, very good. They last up for ages. And what I found is, though, that the little pins that go through the ferrule, they fall out. But if you get another, like a panel, a veneer pin, it's a very thin, that I use for holding the paintings in the frame. Um, so bang it right through, snip it off, and then bend it over. Look, so I've replaced it. 
threes rather than throw the, the brush away, now I've got one, well that one goes right the way through. I've got two in there. Oh, can you see that? Oh, there's there's the, the, the pointy end there. Just snip them off. Right now, let's get some good cloud colour now, a bit of crimson now, because we've got crimson. So let's get a bit of a bit of cloud going across here. More red. Now, don't have too many layers of cloud. But now, give that. A, I want to put a big, a big slash of, of light, very light colour. I find that sometimes my acrylics go a little bit dull. And that's bright, that'll stay bright because I've made it bright, but for some reason I'd probably overwork them a bit. But uh, well, anyway, uh, I quite like that. And I don't see why I should do anything more. Let's just cover that horrible bit of ridge in there. It's just a little bit, a bit wrong there. Okay, right, I'm going to put, I'm going to take that off, I'm going to put it in a mount. I've got lots of bits of uh, blue tack holding everything together. So I'm going to uh, take that off of there. There's some blue tack under those corners here. Very, very, very useful blue tack, I found. I never thought about it, it's not my idea, but it's obvious really. Just had to ask my wife where it was, where she kept it. Okay, so there we are, we'll put that on there. Put my bit of blue tack back with the lump. Raise that up and, and put it in a mount. I'll put it in a big mount. Oh no, I'll put it in a small, no, that's too small. Uh, put it in that one. So now I've got a, I must have a bigger one now. Yeah, there we are. The old, the old one. I've not got around to cutting a new one. Well, there we are. Let's put a, put a clip on it. Right, uh, let's, let's flatten that. Uh, right, well, well I, I like that. I quite like. I'm quite pleased with that. I think the sky might be just a bit dull, but. Uh, That's just an example of how to paint quickly uh, um, from a, a, a fresh memory of, of, of a photograph. This looks nothing like what I saw, but it's, but it's just my take on it. I like skies, so I've got a whole bank of skies in my head that I've done so many times before in the landscape. This I've done so many times in different ways. Um, the, the, I think the trick here is to make the trees all different, otherwise you've just got a regiment going across which is monotonous. And beyond there will be the Surrey Hills maybe, we, we're high up looking, well, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, it's just a, a, an impression of the Surrey Hills taken from Denby's, well I think it's from Denby's. Um, I could put little bushes in here, but that's that just takes away from that that impact there. I think. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I'll go and get this one uploaded because I'm quite excited about it. I hope you you like it. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.